excited about this and you should be too. If you clicked on this video, you're either interested in software engineering or finance. And I think there are massive opportunities for both of these groups of people if you watch this whole video through um, and kind of explain why I think this is so important and so significant, as well as what tools you can actually use in order to participate um, in this really, really cool opportunity. So recently when I was on Twitter, I saw a tweet about this app called the Autopilot app. This is not sponsored by Autopilot in any way. However, this will give you an idea of what you can do um, with this technology. So Autopilot is essentially a, a copy trading platform where they have some pretty basic retail focused strategies like Nancy Pelosi tracker, Citadel tracker, inverse Kramer tracker. As you can imagine, these types of strategies do really well on Twitter um, and on different advertising platforms. So since they've launched, they actually have about just under $50 million in assets under management connected to this platform, which is absolutely insane considering that they only have these kind of funny strategies that might perform all right, but you wouldn't expect it to have $50 million um, in assets connected to it. Now, what really caught my eye about this app was not so much the fact that they had these funny strategies um, or that it was a copy trading platform. What's cool about this is that they offer integrations with Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, and Webull. Previously, I've worked in cryptocurrency. It's very easy to connect to different exchanges to place and execute trades. Um, they offer public facing APIs and every user can create API keys and easily uh, integrate with the API. However, with Robinhood, TD Ameritrade and Webull, as far as I know, outside of any institutional um, backend, there are no public facing APIs that users can just easily tap into. If you have a Robinhood account, there's no settings page where you can create an API key um, and there's no documentation that you can take advantage of either. So when I saw that this app was using Robinhood, TD Ameritrade and Webull to execute trades, um, it caught my eye saying, how, how are they even doing this? Because as far as I know, there aren't many platforms that are able to do this. So I did some more research and I fell upon a Python library, which is called Robinstocks. Robinstocks has integrations with Robinhood, uh, Webull, as well as Gemini, which is actually a cryptocurrency exchange. The entire point of Robinstocks is it takes these um, different exchanges and make, and they've developed their own third-party API for these different exchanges, um, which you can integrate into your own projects extremely easily. All you need to do is pip install Robinstocks into your project, import Robinstocks, um, and then essentially just initialize it with the username and password for the exchange. Of course, all of this code is actually public. So if you want to audit the code to make sure that it's, it's not stealing your username and password um, or whatever worry you might have, you can actually check their, their repos and the Robin Stocks repos. You can even download the code directly and, and customize it to your heart's extent. Um, so essentially what it does here, you can see Gemini, Robinhood, TD Ameritrade. Um, they have essentially collected all of the endpoints that the actual Robinhood or TD Ameritrade website uh, uses whenever you're interacting with the website and have created a third party API for it, um, which is actually extremely stable as far as I know from my testing. Um, a really cool thing about this is that whenever you authenticate an account, you just need to provide the username and password. Um, and about the first time that you log into it, it will ask for an MFA multi-factor authentication code. Once you type that authentication code in, as far as I know from my testing, it will not ask for that multi-factor authentication code every single time moving forward. That means that it is feasible to create these strategies um, like what Autopilot has created, um, where it's a continuous automated strategy that you're trading on your account. Now, the opportunities with this come not only from apps like Autopilot, um, but it also comes from individual developers as well. If you're a developer that wants to create your own automated strategy, Robinstocks is a great library that you can use to connect your Robinhood account, TD Ameritrade account, and execute trades directly on it. Um, as well as if you're a developer and you're looking to make production apps, um, then I think there's a big opportunity here to create third-party interfaces for these platforms. Um, you know, you might have an idea for a way that you can improve how users interact with Robinhood or with TD Ameritrade. And if you do that, you could create possibly like a subscription platform um, where you have some sort of improved or more professional interface 
to these different brokerages. The point is I'm excited about this because I think there's a lot of different opportunities and routes that you can take with this library to build some really cool things. My own project that I'm going to be building on this actually relates to Ticker Trends, which is the project that I've covered on my channel. Um, essentially what it is, is it's an alternative data research platform where we track a bunch of data across different social media platforms, aggregate it into one platform and provide you with actionable insights in different equities and cryptocurrencies based on that data. So you can think of it as essentially we're tracking Twitter, Google, Google Trends, um, different social media platforms, all sorts of data. We're essentially collecting that data to see what are consumers buying, what are consumers interested in, and what is the sentiment that consumers are talking about these things um, in general, and then correlating that to different public equities, stocks, and cryptocurrencies, and providing you a way to find actionable trades or profitable trades based on that data. So if that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend you check out Ticker Trends. What I plan on building um, through Ticker Trends with the Robin Stocks library, which I will be customizing in order to fit the end uh, product, is an app similar to Autopilot, however, with a more dedicated, actual, legitimate, unique strategy. So as opposed to these, you know, Nancy Pelosi, Inverse Kramer, Citadel trackers that Autopilot offers, I think it would be really interesting to be one of the first companies to come out um, with an app like this with a more researched strategy that will be based on alternative data um, and some of the things that we do at Ticker Trends in terms of research. Um, we're going to be developing a fully automated strategy that we will offer to the public um, through an interface similar to Autopilot app, which you see right here. Um, and we hope that it will provide a really unique opportunity for people who only have access to these kind of standard brokerages accounts um, and are interested in copy trading a very unique profitable strategy. So that's what I plan on doing with Robin Stocks and this technology. I thought it was something really interesting that I wanted to share. And I think that there are a lot of really fun and cool things that you can build with it. Uh, let me know in comments down below what you think you want to do with this, why you clicked on this video in the first place. And I'll see you in the next one.